Good morning, everybody. On this uh, second Thursday of September, welcome to the Entrepreneur Series um, event that is taking place today. Uh, I know a number of you have taken the time out today to join us uh, at this particular event. It's a series of webinars, seminars that we've been running with the Action Coach business for the last almost 12 months, if not a little bit more now. But literally every second Thursday of the month, we've had the privilege of getting a number of people to, to present to the registrants, you the participants this morning, and um, to invite you to learn as we go on to this journey of entrepreneurship, which is um, uh, sometimes a challenging environment for us in, in South Africa. And our guest speaker this morning is a chap by the name of Francois Liver. One of, our, one of my franchise partners has been with me for many, many years. Um, and he's going to be talking about building a, a profitable uh, business uh, coaching, b profitable business as a proudly South African. But before I do that, I just want to really use this opportunity to thank you and to welcome you to this particular event this morning. It's mm. our privilege to be able to serve you and to offer you the opportunity to learn from this series of, of, of events uh, that we've been running over the last um, 12 months or so, et cetera. And one of the key things that I want us to always reflect on and to think on is as we build businesses in somewhat challenging times, the, the, the ability, our ability to go through the learning is going to depend upon, is going to de determine a bigger part how we grow our businesses going forward. And so as entrepreneurs and business owners, there's an old saying, say growth only happens on the outside when growth happens on the inside. And I'm pretty sure and confident that after today's event with Francho being our guest speaker this morning, that he's gonna be able to give you some food for thought around building a business in the South African environment going forward. And just before I introduce Francho for me and hand over to him, you know, I think it's important for us to recognize, we look at some of the challenges that are going through in the South African business environment. And um, you can see so many more articles that are being written about the challenges that are taking place around the globe, be it in Americas, be it in the West, Western Europe, whatever the case may be. And um, be it around load shedding, be it around any particular challenges things. And one thing I just want to leave with you, and I'm pretty sure Francho is going to address that this morning is if we think we're alone in managing businesses in turbulent times, we're not that alone. And sometimes we're probably better, better prepared to deal with these challenges that are coming our ways this morning. But without any further ado, let me take this opportunity to once again welcome you to this Entrepreneur Series event that happens every second Thursday of the month. And today our guest speaker, chap by the name of Franz Olova, He's one of our franchise partners, business coaches, an award-winning business coach has been with us for next month, 14 years, believe it or not. And um, I think he still pretty, he looks pretty good for the fact that he's been in this game for 14 years at the moment. But you can imagine, I'm pretty sure that once you get through this presentation today or this discussion today, you see the years of wisdom that Francho has been able to build up in his his journey as a, as a business owner, as a business uh, corporate executive and the ability for him to share with you new insights around how do you build a business um, in, in the South African environment, et cetera. And I think that as we, as we use this opportunity today, before I hand you over to Francho, just welcome him this morning and you know, invite yourself to sit back and listen, take notes, because there's a lot of wisdom that Francho is gonna be sharing with you this morning. At the same time, I encourage you to drop any questions in the chat box. And uh, myself and Des, one of, our, one of our, our staff members will be in actual fact there to try and assist you. And when we get all the questions and answers coming through, Francho and I will be dealing with those questions at the back end of, of the presentation. So I suggest drop your questions in, drop any what we refer to as BFOs, blinding flashes of the obvious, or the aha moments that come to you, drop those into the chat box as well. So BFOs, blinding flashes are obvious, as well as any particular questions that you have relative to the discussion that Francho is putting forward to you today. So I would then, as I hand you over to Francho, 
a long-serving franchise partner of ours, an award-winning business coach, many years of experience, many years of deep insight, deep knowledge, deep learning, deep wisdom that he's going to be taking you through today. Francho, it's my privilege to have you here today. Thank you very much for making yourself available today. And uh, we look forward to you sharing some of your wisdom with us today. Over to you, Francho. Um, okay, thank you very much, Peter. Uh, it's really a privilege for me to uh, to, to, to be uh, uh, sharing with you ideas today. Um, so from my side as well, uh, welcome to everyone um, to uh, to be on on uh, you know on this call. Um, I uh, I feel uh, honored uh, that uh, that I have this opportunity to share. Uh, some of uh, ideas that uh, you know that I have in terms of uh, building a business, and uh, you know that uh, to be part of uh, you know a truly unique uh, country, um, South Africa country. I dearly love, and uh, this year is uh, this month actually is a heritage month. So um, yeah, I feel privileged to actually got this topic. I'm actually so glad that they gave this topic to me. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so uh, so so I, in a sense, I have such a freedom to say what I, you know, what what's really coming from the heart, um, and um, and uh, to 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 be a message, uh, you know, to a message for you know for for, for everyone. So uh, yeah, so uh, with that in you know in 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 mind, I think uh, as I said, I really would like to share ideas, uh, you know, with you. Secondly, I also realize that, um, you know, that every one of you that's actually on this, uh, you know, on this uh, call today um, is, uh, is, a, is different circumstances, different situations. Uh, you, uh, you know, probably, you know, in a specific season and, uh, you know, your season might be one of the following that I share there. Um, you know, it, it might be, you know, a season of growth. So everything is rosy. That will be brilliant if you're in that season of growth. It might be that you are in the season of uh, you know consolidation. That that usually follow a season of growth, and then you have to you know to, to you know to, to to consolidate just to feel this. There's now more you know more control. What I find often is a you know a season of transition. You know, so you, 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 you change happened and you, and you suddenly you feel a bit off balance and or uncertain. You're actually in that transition, transition phase. That's another season. And then there's also, um, you know, and we, and, and, and we get that as business coaches, we're coaching uh, businesses every single day um, about also people, a season of restlessness, you know, of uh, uneasiness. Um, you know the the environment, the economic environment, the political environment, and you know the competition. There's so many, so many different things that that impact the you know us, and you know it could be somber, stale, just plain stuck. You feel you feel sometimes you 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 stuck, and then there's that also that season of of of, of reinvention. That's when really you know the leader announces uh, you know to 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 put everything under a microscope. Um, and 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 discern whether this business needs a complete overall. Does it need uh, uh, you know necessary pruning? I always say you know when you prune, uh, you prune towards a vision. You do not just prune for the sake of cutting cutting expenses, um, because you know it is what is the vision, and then you prune towards uh, you know to pr pr prune towards the vision. So there's you know. Irrespective of the season, what you what what you know what you in, um, I think acknowledge that, and then you know what does that actually mean for you know for 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 where you are. And then thirdly, it is really my wish that you know even if you find one idea uh, today that you know that might be your gift, that might be your gateway to 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 uh, uh, you know for your you know your purpose, your vision, your goals. Um, business and and uh, you know and personal the business and personal are so so in in, in integrated so uh, um, yeah I think uh, I mean you will see you see the picture of elephants one of the you know one of the big five that we refer to and uh, I want to start off by by sharing the story about 
you know, they were asking six blind men to, uh, uh, to describe an elephant. And the first person came back and said, but the elephant is like a broom. And uh, the reason why it is like a broom that he experienced is, is was his experience because he actually, uh, um, you know, was touching the tail of the, you know, of the elephant. And the second blind man came and said, but the elephant is like a stump because he walked, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, against the, the leg of the elephant. And the third one came back and said, no, it's like a wall because he actually walked you know, against the body of the of the elephant. And where was I now? Third. So the fourth one came back and said, but the elephant is like a fan because it touched the ears, you know, like a fan. And the fifth one came back and said, but you know, the, no, the elephant is like a spear because uh, um, he actually touched the tusk of the elephant. And the sixth one came back and said, the elephant is like a snake because he touched the trumpet of the elephant. Now, the question is, who described the elephant correctly? Now, I'm not, I would, we don't have the privilege to actually, at this stage, get a people for to respond, but the answer is, you know, who described the elephant correctly? All of them, because it was their experience of the elephant. And so it is with knowledge. I mean, we only, you know, get so, you know, that part that, that our knowledge is, is, is our based on our experience. And it is my purpose today to also see, you know, what part of the elephant might be if the business and life representing the elephant, what part of that actually would be another experience for you to improve knowledge? Because we, we you know, the knowledge that we, you know, the, the growth that takes place that so that you can apply, you know, in, um, you, know, in uh, you know, in your business. As Peter said, use the, uh, yeah, I mean, participate. And, and, and we will, uh, I, I really also feel the value is not only in what I'm saying, but I mean, it is also in the participation. So I uh, uh, want to echo what Peter asked is, is write, write in the chat box your, your blinding flashes of the obvious, those light bulb moments, write your questions down. Um, and when we have that opportunity towards the end, um, asking the questions, any question. I mean, I, I make myself say any question that you would like to ask. Um, so if I don't have the answers, I've got a big team behind me. That's also some of them on this, uh, on the, on this call. Um, we are there to serve. And, um, and that is what uh, we would like to do to, uh, you know, today. Good. So proudly South African, just a few things that, uh, that I would like to share. Firstly, you know, we, we are best known for our very topo uh, topography, great natural beauty, you know, the cultural diversity. Why is South Africa important to the world? Well, it's an important emerging economy. It's a gateway to the sub-Saharan markets. Um, it plays a key economic and political role on the African continent. And uh, is South Africa rich? Well, second largest economy in Africa. It is the most industrialized, technology advanced, and diversified economy in Africa overall. So, so I think, I mean, when we look at the, that lens, actually, you know, South Africa, we can be very proud of, uh, of, of South Africa, of our country. Just quickly, uh, 10 fun facts about South Africa. Uh, approximately 20% of the world's uh, gold uh, is mined in South Africa extremely rich in mining and minerals and considered the world's leader with nearly 90% of all platinum metals on earth and around 41% of all the world's gold. South Africa is the only producer of, uh, of rooibos tea. It's the second largest fruit producer in the, you know, in the world. The largest diamond in the world was, find, was found in South Africa. It's the only manufacturer of Mercedes-Benz C-Class, uh, you know, right-hand drive cars. Route 62 is the longest wine route in the world. I love that because I love my you know, visiting uh, vi uh, wine, wine regions. The first heart transplant in the world took place in 1967. It's the only country in the entire world where a street has produced two Nobel Prize winners in history. And, you know, how do you say hello in South Africa? How's it? So also how's it from my side? You know, so how's it? Enjoy the, in, in, enjoy the session. Why am uh, I am a proudly South African? 
Well, firstly, you know, I was, uh, that, that is a place where I was born. You know, I am from the soil, uh, deeply rooted. You know, this is part and parcel of, of you know, of my, of my identity. And uh, I mean, you can smell that you feel home. You, you actually smell the soil, you feel it. it's that root that no one can actually describe it. And part, you know, you, when you start feeling it's your, you know, that is part of that identity that I've, you know, I'm a proudly South African. And this is a country who has given me many opportunities to who I am today. Um, and I mean, if I just think about the, you know, the teachers that I had in my, in my life, they still, Maybe if some of them live today, they still may be wondering how the heck did they get me through 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 school. Um, but I mean that was part of my of, of, of my journey. The the towns that I, you know, that I lived in and the experiences in terms of, you know, the if you look at the you know the quality of uh, of our universities, educational you know, in, in, in institutions, these all played a huge role in in in, in shaping. Um, you know me in terms of who I am today, and uh, yeah. So 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 what else? Our idea, our diversity, the so diversity from a uh, um, you know from the nation with you know with the eleven official um, languages, and there are many unofficial languages as 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 well. But I mean, think uh, um, Sutu, Zulu, Kosa, um, yeah, English. Afrikaans, I'm not going to mention all of them. Fanagal law, um, you know, if that one language that most people I navigate, uh, you know, can, can navigate through. And, um, and uh, there's certain, there's certain uh, uh, um, let's say, uh, uh, statements that, that people using, like, you know, no Ghanus Brai. That is, I mean, that is so South African. We even, even when we uh, travel overseas at Action Coach conferences, some of the, some of the global people also, when we say, they understand, you know, no Ghanus Brai. I mean, that is, it's small things, but I mean, it's such a, such powerful, our natural beauty, our fauna and flora, I mean, from the Western Cape, uh, you know, the, the, all the all the provinces, nine provinces, you know, the coastlines, the uh, the vineyards, the mountains, the you know, through the I mean, even through the free state, uh, you know, there's beauty in there. I mean, I I know if they have some free staters on this call, that's where I studied. So uh, so I love the free state, um, you know, as 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 well originally they from the northern northern Cape. But I mean, where do you get this when you, and then the next time you can sit in the bush and you 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 get around a campfire and you know our national parks and we we uh, uh, you you hear the the roar of the lions you you know the call of the jackals the hyenas the night jar. I mean, and the one moment you can sit in the city that is buzz, buzzing and all the challenges and the opportunities and there's that that vibe. I mean that is that that diversity that we you know that that we get. The, um, I refer to the diversity in terms of minerals. Another thing why I'm really proud of South African. I think of the our people that you know our resilience. People standing together. We saw um, last year in terms of the riots, uh, riots specifically you know in 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 KZN. I mean it was terrible to see what happened. But when we saw you know the you know the uh, um, you know that resilience of people, that that ability to bounce back, to, to you know to stand together. Um, I mean, I actually look at taxis for, uh, since then through a new lens. <laughs> so when they when they bump in front of me when I'm driving and they say, "Hey, brother, that's a cool day." Um, so 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 I mean, just that uh, again, it is the it is that diversity, and I think is how you know through what lens. Do we look at life? Um, makes a makes a big difference. You know, we are, are living in a laboratory um, of change. You know, breakthroughs. I refer to to uh, uh, um, the you know the first heart transplant. Um, but I mean, it's from a first heart transplant to the innovation of the creepy crawly that keep our swim the swimming pools clean. I mean, and there's so many. Um, and, and, you know, that we can be, you know, proud of uh, adversity, you know, the character which, with which we're dealing with adversity in so, in so many ways. 
that uh, then that you actually can think you know how, uh, re, uh, uh, how we bounce back how do we deal with the you know with things is is, is just that is what makes me uh, proud of uh, you know of uh, of a proud South African uh, you know business owner and, um, and 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 person so yes I mean these are all positive things and 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 I mean by in 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 saying that uh, we, we must acknowledge that you know, South Africa have challenges. We have big challenges, uh, and uh, um, the big three, in uh, in my view, is you know that unemployment and the, and the poverty you know that goes with that, the crime that we you know that we see, all the fences that we have to put. When you drive, you never know what's gonna what's gonna happen. You know the corruption. There, the, you know these are these are challenges and. It's some some sometimes one might feel, but you know, how will we ever you know solve this? And I think this is also part of you know what I would like to to give you a bit of a lens as well. You know, we as business owners and as leaders in our families and communities, uh, what is it you know the role that uh, you know that you know that 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 we play? Um, Peter, if I you, you will you will indicate to me if there's any in terms of time if there's any uh, uh, you know because I mean if I'm on a roll then I'm going okay we're, so we'll keep uh, we'll keep you to time front show. thank you um, the so so we are of course the rainbow nation and uh, a few weeks ago when I uh, you know I I had a conversation uh, with my wife Benita um, and. Uh, yeah, very privileged to be, uh, um, you know, to have her as my wife already now, I think 30, 34 years coming up. But I actually asked her, what is a quote that I maybe can use? And she she, she has had very quite profound uh, messages uh, for me over the last 14 years. Not all of them can be used here in the, you know, in the session. Uh, but then she actually came up saying, you know, rainmakers in the Rainbow Nation make proudly South Africans. I thought, wow, I'm going to I'm going to use that. So because I was actually thinking about this rainmakers in the rainbow nation make proudly South Africans. And uh, so so um, and I actually thought, what if I use the rainmakers as an acronym to to guide us today to to to, to structure um, this presentation? Because I was asking, but who's my rainmaker and what does it what does it mean? So, so, uh, uh, so, so we will uh, we will use rainmakers as an acronym to see, you know. So, how do you actually use that in building in building a, a, a business, a profitable business, a sustainable business? So, where do we start? You know, this formula B times do equals F. Normally, when we want to change things, we actually ask the question: What is that I must do? What is that I must do? And um, and and but what we often forget is actually the, the formula is not do times B. You do not first do and then become. It starts with B. B times do equals F. We are human beings, not human doings. And the challenge is when you run at 160 kilometers per hour, day in and day out, we become human doings. We don't take the time out to actually reflect, to do the whiteboard thinking, or do the deeper thinking about who I am, what is it, uh, you know, so, so what's my I, I identity, et cetera. We will, we will, we will dive into some of, some of them. But, you know, so, so it, it, it starts with, you know, my being, who am I? And that being, what will he or she then do in order to have? So I'm going to use Rainmakers as our structure. For uh, you know, for 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 some key messages that I would like to that was placed on my art so that was uh, that I would like to share uh, you know with you with everyone here on the, you know on this call. Good. So the first in terms of rainmakers, um, you know relationships. You will see on my screen there in some uh, in sometimes I will actually go through all of them and the reason for that is to, I want to make sure that we grasp the. You know the, uh, um, the the you know the idea as uh, you know as 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 deep as possible within the time within the time frame, um, and uh, if they and but then you and sometimes I will actually only focusing on one or two things, 
uh, which I really would like uh, to emphasize. And you will also see at the bottom of each slide there in blue, um, you know, there will be a question or a tip, um, you know, from uh, that you could use. And the idea is not to actually necessarily answer that uh, um, for, uh, you know, now. It is for you to, to, to explore, to go and think about this, uh, you know, the, the, these questions. But I mean, I will, um, at the every slide, we will, uh, um, you know, focusing also on that. So, so let's do the R. And I mean, when we really think, you know, what, is, what, what, will, what makes a big difference in our business and lives, and that is, you know, relationships. So the focus is building our businesses on a relational foundation. So to grow relationships, we have to take on, on actually new glasses. We have to challenge our worldview, our, our paradigms. Um, and, and, and the first one that I want to mention here is profit is the fruit. Relationships are the roots. So, so we tend to focus and so much on the profit and the profit, and that's, that's fine. I mean, we, our businesses must produce the profit. It must produce the, the, uh, um, you know, the, the, the cash flow but as you, you, know, you grow. But what produces it is actually the relationships. And um, so, 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 uh, so, so the relationships is, is actually pr uh, you know, primary. And our products and service, you know, is secondary. So, so a relational approach. So, you know, is if you have servanthood motivation, it is, you know, what do people see in you when they see you? You know, do they do you, do they ask you what is this joy? You know, what is this? You know, the you know the wow, wow! I see how you handle this. There's something in you. It's back to the being. Um, and, 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 and and so so yes, we can all be you know focused on service, and that is absolutely it's important. The question is then also you know what is your motivation? What is the motive behind it? Is it for yourself, or is it actually for the sake of others? And uh, um, and uh, so 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 if you take a notch up in terms of you know serving, with less focusing on self and more focusing on you know, on focusing others with that, you know, the passion with the, you know, that you have in you. So we can see what we really believe is how we live because we embody our beliefs. Um, so what goes on the inside manifests on the, you know, on the outside. Yeah. So, so we, you need to be in tune with that, you know, with that spirit and the passion of the, of, 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 of the heart in just a, Instead of just going through, the, you know, through, you know, through the through, through the mechanics and you know, collaborate. Um, that's why we are, you know, people are actually placed on this on this on this planet that so that everyone have got strengths and weaknesses and you know how do we what is our gifts um, that that you know so for us to flourish and how do we actually then collaborate? So relationships. Uh, for me, is one of the keys actually the root of uh, uh, that what produce uh, what produce profit. So, question tip: flip the script, asking new questions, and 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 and. But you can't ask new questions if you every day run at 160 kilometers per hour. Yes, there are days that you have to do that in order to you know to to, to stay in front. So, if relational orientation is a measure of success, that's a question for you to ponder on. If relational orientation is a measure of success, what must change in the areas, you know, of your family, you know, of the business community? And that is a, you know, a question that you could ponder on. If you think about that, you know, it starts with where we tend to think of, they must change. They, you know, they must fix everything. It is, it starts with us. And that is what makes the, you know, the difference. Um, the A of the first A in terms of rainmakers, I call this the attention, attention abundance relationship. So the focus is on pay attention. So, so when you look at all the information that today that is available for us to have access to and 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 you know and through technology, I think there's about 50,000 hours of YouTube videos are being loaded on YouTube every minute. 
Now, you know, so 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 this whole abundance of of uh, uh, um, you know of uh, you know of, of 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 information is it's like you know it can distract. So there's a like a, a, a distraction surplus and an attention deficit. So 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 we, we you know so so uh, uh, and and uh, on the one side all this information is available, but what is it that we pay attention to? Okay, and so pay attention. What is it that what we pay? And that's actually you know a huge opportunity cost because we spend our attention. If we focus our attention on things that do not really make a difference for me in terms of my role that I have to play, you know, in my business, in the uh, you know in life. So when we look at information. You know, in, a, in 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 economic terms, it's it's like a form of a of a currency. Um, you know, because it actually is purchasing power. Have you ever thought about that? This purchasing power and this opportunity cost. So if I spend, so if, if I I mean social media, you know, and 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 some people are addicted to it because it actually draw we we were drawn into this. Um, so, so that ratio of attention, uh, you know, in, in 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 information. If you think about, okay, what is it that I must stop paying attention to, and 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 what is it that I must pay more attention to, so that I don't pay, you know, what is it that I'm paying, and that opportunity cost by spending time on information that is not really aligned with my vision, with my goals, with my plan in my business to build a profitable, a profitable business. So a question tip that I got here is what is your exchange rate in terms of attention abundance in relation to information? Now, you might say I haven't seen this uh, 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 formula before. Well, until I created it, I also didn't see it. So it was, uh, it, it's my way of, of, of actually unpacking and trying to understand a deeper understanding of it. But, you know, that, uh, I, I hope explained that well. Is, is how healthy is this exchange rate? And, and, and what must change in order to improve your purchasing power by using the attention abundance ratio? What is it that I must change to, to, to in, improve my purchasing power? Because every one of you on this call, you have a purchasing power to, uh, uh, um, and, 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 and it is actually, so how do you use this? But then also perhaps, you know, how do you uh, uh, um, compromise it by spending too much time on information that's not really useful? Uh, the eye of um, you know of 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 of, of rainmakers, the identity focus here is your DNA, the building code code of the units. You know, every one of you have specific gifts. You're uniquely designed, aligning with the you know the purpose. So, so what is the organization's DNA? You know, so so always carry some of the genes of the people that actually founded them. So, so, so what was, you know, what was, you know, what were, what were they thinking? Why they started this business? So I like go, go back to the past and the history about the founder, you know, of, you know, you know, of the business. And if you were the founder of the business, you know, so, so, so it's critical that you understand why, you know, what is the purpose of the, this business? What, uh, you know, what must this business, you know, be and why? Why is it that uh, 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 this business must be, you know, must be there? Um, so, so, so like attracts like is the hand spirit. Who have you been called, uh, you know, to work with? Do you believe people are being sent to you? Um, and, 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 the, and, and, and people serving business is the key. You know, the product is the, the product is the, is, 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 uh, is secondary. That's, uh, it is actually, what is your pro pro uh, primary product? And that is the question then in what people serving business, you know, are you? What is the measure? How far does it extend? You know, do you have, a, do you have a, 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 a shack vision only for like a consuming or cathedral? That it actually goes through, you know, in next generation and 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 further generation, a total different you know, approach to think, you know, what, what is motivating you, 
you know, is that internal purpose, you know, but every one of us have got a uniquely designed to have a pattern and is actually to, how do you actually discover it? And, and uh, one of the biggest disservice you can do for someone that worked for you is actually that they be in a, in, in a role that, uh, that is not aligned with their DNA, aligned with their gifts. You can give them the biggest gift by helping them finding a place, if it is not in your business, finding a place outside of the business so that person can flourish. That's how we build strong people, strong teams, strong, you know, strong communities. So a question here, you know, take your ID. Where does that allow you to go? If you actually take your, if you take your ID card, and you think, you know, where does that allow me to go? I mean, yes, I'm going get, to get married. I can open a bank account. I can buy a house. I can, you know, do that. That maybe give me access to applying for a, you know, for a, 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 a passport, et cetera. But if I'm using my, my ID when I was uh, 16, 18, and now, I'm, now I may be 30, 40, 50, 60, can I actually still use that old ID? No, it, uh, because it won't allow me, people won't allow me to actually use that. And that is the same principle is, you know, in, 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 in business. So, so who you are, back to the B times do equals F, who I am, my identity will allow me to get you know, to certain, you know, certain, certain avenues. And that's what, you know, building on it, you know, where, what is, uh, in what is your, your ID defined in? So when you pursue, pursue uh, the vision, the purpose of the business, what ID will give you access to? That is a, that is a question for you, to, you know, to, to, to ponder on. Then um, the N in terms of rain, the focus here is, 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 stand, is, is, is the niche. So what is a niche? A niche is you stand out from the rest. You know, it's a huge problem for, for, for most businesses. They do not have a niche, you know. So if you visualize your, your business as a, you know, as a river, you know, the narrower those boundaries, uh, you know, are of the, you know, the, the, the river, the more power the water has there. And the broader it is, you know, the less power. So, so and there's mud. So, so when you think about, you know, how do you actually make the boundaries narrower? Because then that water is flowing at a, at, at a power. Um, so so, so, so the, the narrower the boundaries, the more powerful it is. The problem with niche is most business owners see all opportunities outside of the niche. That, you know, they do not want to actually, you know, set the boundaries there. And so we are not great at anything because we are pretty good at a lot of things. So, so when you think a car wash versus a selfish team, a business could start to quit selling the product and start selling, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the business, uh, 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 what it do for you in terms of self, then you make millions. So uh, question, yeah, what would I have to do? So my customers would say, I have to be crazy to go to someone else. You know, there's the, there's the concept of thinking time. Do you have thinking time in your diary? Have a thinking chair. It is outside of the normal, you know, behind my, behind my desk. And, 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 and what are the questions that you then, you know, use and, 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 and apply there? Now, when you think about that concept, is write it down, write the question down. Like this is an example, you know, what do I, you know, I, I have to, when customers have to say, I have to be crazy to do business with someone else. Well, here's the warning. It should not be based on because I'm the cheapest. Because when you have a niche, you actually pricing is not an issue. Okay. So, 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 but then you write it down. You're making these dots uh, and always add another dot. It tells your brain there's more. And, and, and uh, so firstly, you'll come up with the obvious, but you have to spend time on it. Time is our, you know, how we spend our time. The, that, that is you know, one of the key things that you spend your time on, the, uh, on, on what gives you the highest, re highest return. Another question is you know, vitamin aspirin. So a vitamin a goal is to, is, is, is to get better. And aspirin is much more significant action, okay? 
So my question to you is, is you know, if you, if, you know, do you have a vitamin business or an aspirin business? So if you have a vitamin business, how can you reframe it so it needs an aspirin? Okay, because you know, vitamin makes you better, but an aspirin, you take action now because of that, you know, immediately takes the pain, you know, the pain away. The M in Rainmakers is, uh, um, is the, the real M is megawatt. You know, now I think South Africans, uh, you know, when you think about power, we actually think about, ah, oh, load shedding again. Okay. So and when we think about megawatt, it's like, yeah, you know, it's about uh, ESCOM and, 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 and load shedding. We don't have control over that. I mean, that is, a, that is really inconvenient and it is frustrating. But the question again is that rather, you know, what is my power? Okay. What is my megawatt? The power with, with, within me, you know, so, so how do I let my light shine? And what do I do to actually, so what is my source of power? My source of power is not, you know, the, 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 the power that we get from, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, from, 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 from ESCOM. Um, so, 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 so it comes from inside. So what, what in stimulates and endure you, um, you know, your, 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 your power. When you think about, if you actually have these batteries, the rechargeable batteries, if you don't charge them, yes, in the first day it's hundred percent and go down to fifty percent, you know, thirty percent, twenty-five percent. Ultimately, you know, it will it, it 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 will die, and so we must recharge. You know, we must recharge every day. And how do we recharge? You know, so we have an authority to serve to make our nation better. Um, you know, so so we move away from self-centeredness. Imagine. Imagine the impact on our nation when we let our light shine. And it, where does it start? It starts with ourselves. How do I actually you know, look after myself in terms of my health, physically, you know, spiritually, to, you know, so, so emotionally, to serve others? It starts with myself. It starts with my families. It starts with my business. It starts with my communities, my sphere of influence. We tend to think, but you know, but how can I so solve these problems? Well, you have a business, there's relationships, you have a, perhaps a family, you have, you know, it is your sphere of influence. That is where you start. So, so my question to Pierre, just as the moon can only reflect the light of the sun, you know, what reflects your light? The moon cannot act doesn't produce its own light it reflects the light of the sun and the same for us that we need to ask what reflects our light you know when the sun is risen the lamps cease to be of use the sun is so much more powerful and when that arises, you know so then the lamp cease to be of use so my question you know how are you the light so what does that mean for you it has been true, so truly uh, said, the second best in the world is the worst enemy of the best. We also say, you know, sometimes good stand in the way of great. And let's not allow that as business owners, as, uh, uh, you know, as, as, as people, part of families of the, you know, of the, of the community. Then uh, the A in terms of rainmakers is the adventure. You know, the focus is stay curious, embrace the unknown. Um, I actually read a, 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 a book where, um, and then part of the story was this uh, uh, American commander actually met the commander um, of the Vietnam, where, you know, when the Vietnam War was on and then, you know, so, so, so. Um, and, and, and they met at, the, you know, at a, at a specific, at a, at a dinner. And he asked this uh, commander of the, of the Vietnam uh, um, Defense Force, so how did you do it? How did you get it right? That, you know, so, so that you know, we couldn't win that war. And he said, you know, you know I was the professor of the jungle. <laughs> and, and I actually thought, wow, how is that also very applicable to South Africa? You know, it's like living in a jungle. And, 
and we have to, you know, we have to, 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 to navigate ourselves. How do we navigate? We navigate through our mindset, through our uh, uh, knowledge, through, through perseverance, through learning from, from, you know, from, you know, from others. Always to, you know, never, never, ever give up. So yes, the, you know, the face the challenges. You know, how do we untangle the lies that's causing the anxiety, the fear, the worry, the doubt? Can I give you some, 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 uh, you know, perspective here on this? The moment when you have fear, when you have anxiety, you live in the future. Okay, so there's a past, there's a present, there's a future. So when you have that, then you know you're in the future. When you have guilt, when you have a feeling of guilt, you, you know that you're in the past. We can't live in the future, we also you know, not live in the past. Is what is that you know, present where I am today and to give my 100% for today in terms of what I am doing. So, so we all have stories and it's the stories that, 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 uh, um, that hold us back uh, uh, sometimes. You know? so, so we have to reframe your story of your life. You know, what does it mean? When you have gone through, you know, through 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 challenges and and and, and uh, problems, uh, reframe it so that you feel empowered and not disempowered. You know, your ID, what's your true identity? Um, you know, when you when you look at your life, you have proof of existence or is proof of life? I mean, that is such a powerful concept. And that was this uh, 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 person that he and his family went on a mission into one of these uh, you know, countries where it was, it was really much more jungle than what it is in South, in, in, in South Africa. And when he got through the, through the uh, well, at um, uh, um, the border gates and the custom, and they said, well, for you to go through, we'll have to ask you questions that only a few people would know when I asked that question, they would know the answers. And the reason for that, if they are being, uh, um, you know, if, 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 if something happens to them um, that, uh, that they know who to call and to see whether that is actually, you know, which actually them. And then he thought about this and said, but, you know, so that, that they can answer these questions about them. He said, but that is not a proof of life. That's a proof of existence. And that light bulb moment, do I have, is, is, is what I'm doing I mean, people, is, is it do I is that proof of am I existing, or do I, is it proof of life? And that's part this whole journey. You start seeing this as an adventure. A few years ago, I went to a um, a course in in Sydney, Australia. Um, in fact, it's now quite more than ten years ten years ago. But I still remember that today, Keith Cunningham. He uh, um, so it was a, like a four day MBA program. And he made the statement, hell on earth, if one day you meet the person you could have been. And that really struck me. It is that quest for mastery. You know, it is never ending process of learning, improving, improving yourself. So when you think about your adventure, we, you either think I'm ready and I aim and I aim and I aim and I never fire or I fire too late. You make that shift to ready, aim, because you do not want to fire necessarily in the wrong direction, but then fire, fire, fire. That is the adventure. That's how we learn by learning from life, not learning only from, you know, from, you know, from the books. So question here, or tip, complete the sentence by following in the, you know, the open space. Have the best open space ever. That's adventure. Okay, what's going through your mind? And when you're saying that... Uh, uh, Gonna have the best, fill in the space ever. And then what do I have to change to make this possible? What do I have to make to change to make, you know, to do to, to this make this? So have an adventurous life. Knowledge. I mean, you know, the learning is about growth. You know, our problem is we think we know enough. You know, our skill levels and discipline levels determine the level at which we play the game. Now, there are four stages of learning that I quickly want to touch on. Um, first is a stage one. Is, uh, it, it is like that wake-up call. It gets your attention. 
it's the unconscious incompetent you were not aware of it but i mean it's like a pressure that's either from a health point of view or from a relationship point of view or from a finances point of view is like that wake up call oh my god I, I cannot carry on like this anymore you have to be wake up if we not wake up it's actually not gonna really you know make that decision to change but once you've got that attention that wake up call the next stage stage is the commitment to, to change that is the attitude that is a conscious incompetence. Now I'm actually you know, conscious of my incompetence in terms of that area. But I mean, it is really a recommitment to my attitudes and my, and my actions. And then stage three is dealing with the options. Uh, that is actually the actions. Now, yeah, it's a very, very powerful uh, 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 message here to think that power is guarded by problems. We think when we have problems, you know, so we pray for, you know, not for problems, and then we actually get these problems. We pray for solutions and say, no, it's problems make us stronger. So, so is this whole concept of, of, of stewarding what you have, then you will actually so to build your character. And, and, and so when you, when you have problems, you become a problem solver. I, I will talk about that in, 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 in you know, later as well. Is it is when you think about, I mean, all of you, you can actually, if we think uh, for metaphor, if you think of a, you have a Ferrari engine, you know, in you. But I mean, if that Ferrari engine is, is actually in an A-frame car and you start it, it will actually blow up. And, 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 and so we have to be building, and that is then the, the character that we are building to, to constant so that I can deal with bigger problems. And the bigger problems I'm dealing with, new challenges grow me. So again, back to the point of, you know, profit is the fruit, you know, what are the, you know, the roots. And then stage four is entering the race. That is the achievement. That is the unconscious incompetence. Then the change has become part of you. So it's about, when you think about, you know, you must be committed to reorganizing your mind's bookshelves. If you think about your mind, about how you think about how you learn, about what you learn, about the source of your, of, 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 of your knowledge, okay? What got you here won't get you there. So when you think of that as, as bookshelves, you know, in your mind, we all have to get reorganizing those bookshelves, you know? So because transformation stops when we refuse to reorder our shelves. This is what it is. This is how I am. Forget it. Okay. That was will not change. And I think the people on this, on this call are definitely not like that. That's why you're here. Because you want to learn um, and, and, and build something, something profitable, something meaningful. Okay. So I'm at the grain, my curse, the E. Uh, I'm aiming that we more or less have half an hour for discussion. So I hope I'm still on, on, on time. Uh, evaluation. Uh, oh, that's one of the things most people are actually so scared for evaluation. They don't like looking in the mirror. So, you know, what is that? Uh, you know, and defending. Yeah, I'm defending. No, no, come up with all the, you know, all the reasons. So, one question here is what is your measure of, you know, of, 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 of success? If you can't read the scoreboard, you don't know the winner for the losers. Let me ask you a question. If you actually go on, a, you know, and you want to fly to, uh, to another place and you get there in the airplane and you see the pilot and the pilot actually look at the cockpit and he said, oh, my word, what is going on here? What do I see? No, no. I mean, what will I do? I will run away because, I mean, if you can't read the cockpit, how will I actually get in that airplane? And, and, and this is sometimes that we do that, I mean, if you take, for instance, your family in a car, will you drive from one place to another and actually have that, uh, you know, dashboard cover so that you don't see it? Who of you will take your family in that, you know, in, by driving? Not me, because I don't know what's going you know, when something goes wrong. And if you start looking at this as the, your business, as that, you know, that scoreboard, you know, so there are financial dials in the cockpit. The most, three most basic ones, the balance sheet, the income state, and the cash flow. Cash is king. And you have to measure this. But I mean, it's so, so the one adds up to the other. It is actually integrated. We don't have the scope in today's session about 
unraveling that and unpacking, unpacking that. That is where you're going to actually, you know, let people help you if that is an area that uh, that, that you need more education on and applying in your in 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 in, in, in your business. So, but I mean, when you look at the balance sheet and the income statement and the cash flow, what is important is what's driving it. You know, so that's the critical drivers. You always have the lagging and the leading leading indicators. So, what are the, you know, what what will move those dials? Come back to the point that I made earlier. That profit is the fruit. You know, so so what are the roots? And uh, you know, and so what are also the critical the critical drivers? Um, so there are a few. I, 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 I'm not going to spend time on all of that, but you can think about those, those, those other ideas in terms of you know, the clarity of my purpose, my vision, my you know, mission and the values. How are the people in your business connected to it? How are you connected to your, you know, to, to, to your vision? Does it, does it actually stir you? Does, does it ignite you? Um, that, you know, that, does it provide you with that, with that oomph? to do the action. So, so, so when there's no action to the level of what, is the, uh, uh, what it should be, you can always go, where are the leaks in the vision? Is it that do, the people that actually in my business, do they carry the vision? Do they carry it you know, in their hearts? If not, there's work to do. Because you know, how visible is it? What does it mean for, you know, for, you know, for, you know, for everyone? Um, the time with the team, the quality of teaching, training, coaching, tremendous. These are these are these massive things that you know. So 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 the differences to understand this and you know, coaching is coaching is to actually to stretch the limits. We have got so much potential in us, but our stories and our strongholds that hold us back in terms of truly fulfill your 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 uh, 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 um, your purpose and what is truly possible for you so uh, um, your your leadership how you make decisions you know do you empower or do you keep power your your decision making abilities your problem solving abilities so uh, when is it that you must call 911? Now, I know this is a US term in South Africa, I think 101, but everyone knows the term call 911. That is when something is urgent and important. So sometimes you actually have to actually say, okay, but now it is 911 on this person or on this thing. It's urgent and important. It cannot carry on like this. Let's call 911 and making that difference. So, so, so question, when I have a bad month financially, what happened that should have happened or what should have happened that didn't happen? And how do I know I am stuck? Look around and ask the question, is this current situation what I have envisioned you know, for, you know, for my life? That's a question to explore on. So Rainmakers, the, the R, revolutionize your business through problem solving. I make the statement here, become a problem solving driven company than a bottom line driven company. If you think about this, if you imagine, if you have a problem solving driven company, you know, what is the profit and the cash flow that you will produce? Major dynamics of problem solving is, you know, the, the uh, uh, relational dynamic, which is the human personalities, you know, inappropriate responses. Some people actually underreact, other overreact, other got the wrong reaction, or rather going to play golf for six months instead of dealing with the problem. A rights versus responsibility relational base. This is my rights to do it, or do I actually take up responsibility? You know, an unstable or a fearful uh, uh, work atmosphere, and so on. The conceptual dynamic. These are the dynamics of problem solving. Conceptual. The purpose of the task isn't clear. Okay. Then you know it's a conceptual dynamic. Um, the person or the department's understanding of how they fit into it, how they fit into the bigger picture, how they fit into the into the vision is not clear. Then you know it is a conceptual dynamic and the executional dynamic. The resources or tools are inadequate or improperly used, or people are not sufficiently trained. 
Now, when you think about problems, where do most people actually start? My experience is they think on executional level, is that we must execute better. So the tip here, the first place to look for is the relational dynamic. So we must be great in understanding people in how do we actually communicate? How do we, how do we share? How do we train? How do we coach? How do we uh, you know, identify you know, strongholds? How do we identify you know, possible things that hold people, hold people back? So the shifts. So in, uh, uh, in, in, in looking at this rainmakers, so these are then you know, the, 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 the shifts that you know, thinking about the, all the areas that we touched relationships shift from product focus to relational focus product is secondary relations primary the attention abundance from consuming information to purchasing power information so you 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 you, you, you increase your purchasing power in terms of identity from an old identity that i did that id card actually can't uh, give you access to what, you know, so your current one, you have to build a brand new identity. The niche from good at a lot of things to great at one thing. The megawatt power, you know, from the light of a lamp to the light of sun. An adventure from ready, ready aim, aim, aim um, and, and not fire or fire to light, to ready aim, fire, fire, fire. The knowledge from I know, to reorganizing our mind's bookshelves, the evaluation from unconcerned to 911, to call 911, and to revitalize, you know, it's from a quick fix to solving problems. And then, uh, you know, and then, you know, the, the, the last one, the shifts is from self centeredness to, you know, to, uh, you know, to servanthood. So, in conclusion, I think. You know, from my perspective, when we think really, and when we look in the mirror, every one of us, you know, actually think, what is the role that I'm, am I playing my role to the level of what is really aligned with, with my vision, with my purpose? When I look in the, you know, so, so if we stand together, what is my talent? What is my, you know, so, so my, 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 my pattern? That I was created with, and 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 uh, um, and have a fresh look, a wake up call, so to speak. Every one of us, if we, you know, and I'm sure all of us have had those wake up calls. But sometimes you actually have to really. But you know what? After today's session, where I am today, can I actually? Can I? Can I uh, 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 look fresh at who, who I am? And what is truly, you know, what is truly possible, and that, and, the, and then what is must, must change. So there's this African proverb: proverb there, is, there is strength in unity, but weakness in division. We really use the, un, you know, to unite with where you are starting, with where you are. If we unite, you know, we can really make a big positive impact in where you are. Every one of us. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. For uh, I'm not sure where we are with time, but because I actually <laughs> lose total track of time. But um, I think uh, yeah, Peter, um, Des, um, I think we have now opportunity to uh, to 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 uh, um, address certain certain questions or comments. Let me just see if there are any particular particular questions coming in. Question that I wanted to pose to you, Francois, is that uh, if you look at your journey of entrepreneurship and business ownership uh, over the last 14 years, Settle, and you made the comment at the start of the presentation around your business has been through um, you know, many seasons, much like anybody else's has done mm -hmm. that. And I think that's fair to say for everybody on this particular call. How have you navigated through those various seasons. And I love the acronym that you've taken everybody through this morning, but there's obviously quite a lot to work through that at, at, um, at this stage of the game. But my question to you is, is um, how, have you, how have you navigated through that, uh, through those various seasons of your business? Okay, yeah, good, thanks. Uh, um, you make me now think much deeper, but yeah, I think is that, 
um, first to acknowledge that um, what is it that um, you know in the external environment constantly change. And when, uh, you know, when you think about navigating, not the, the external environment influencing me, you know, uh, in terms of my focus. So, so, so always be clear on what is my focus? Why am I here? What is it that I'm called, to, you know, to, you know, to do? And, and I would say, you know, at the start, 14, you know, 14 years ago, um, it, you know, my motivation was, was, was probably, uh, very much um, about, um, let's say, yes, I've got a role to play in the community, but what does it mean for me? Where, you know, so it's about, it's about, it's about me and I'm serving others for me. And it is now, it has developed into a much uh, a purpose driven clarity about the role that I, you know, that, you know, that I, that I play and there's a, it is it's it's a strong it's a strong calling and using my my talent uh, you know con, con, consistently and realizing that uh, you know i can't do it on myself i have had and still have many coaches people mm -hmm. that you know help me navigating through challenges i can't i've got blind spots like anyone else i can't actually mm -hmm. see every everything and by but you know by myself it's like a golfer you know, that you can't see your own swing. That's why we need mm -hmm. other people. And, and, and I mean, the navigation um, is, is uh, yes, internally from the, you know, from, from the art, knowing mm -hmm. uh, um, there's a bigger, bigger role to play and purpose, uh, but using people. Um, and <laughs> I have, <laughs> I, I uh, if you look at, uh, I always use the knee height test as an example when I'm saying, you know, when people say, but I'm not good at this, I'm not good at sales. I'm saying, okay, have you read books up to knee height? Okay. And I, and I still love that principle is always, you know, the, the, the power of knowledge. But then I also have learned over the years, make sure what is it that you read? You know, what is that source of, of you know, of, uh, you know, of the, there's a lot of self-help stuff. And I think, you know, but uh, uh, yeah, the concept of epistemology is how you learn uh, from what sources do you learn that, uh, you know, in your season where, you know, where mm -hmm. you are, that is truly empowering. I, I, I don't know whether I answered your question, but I mean, that's. Uh, no, uh, thank you very much yeah. for that. So I've got a couple of other questions I want to pose to you, but I see the Katsana. Has uh, got, got, got his hands up. So, Katsano, just unmute yourself and pose the question. Okay, thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. And I'm sorry I was getting cut off uh, due to network connectivity. Um, but uh, I just wanted to, there's a point that I, I like, which is about being an influence in the community or in society. So, my question would be how to make sure that that um, influence well, in, in terms of um, Okay. Leadership development is is okay. Uh, in terms of leadership development, is 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 inculcated without any political interference, and to make sure that uh, the the company does not have any of interest, uh, external factors like political divisions and everything. How do you make sure that leadership role? and accountability goes there without politics. Okay. Interesting uh, question. On, yeah, thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> I mean, that's that's part of, we get a part of our, 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 our journey. And I wanna go back to what I said earlier. It start with B, okay? How do I make sure, who am I in terms of, you know, the, you know my, my, my internal conversation, who am I as a leader and the role to play, you know, to, 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 to play there. And it is through uh, uh, connecting with what is it that you have in your control. And, 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 and I would say, you know, always a good point to, 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 uh, um, to, to focus on is, is that what gives future direction? Um, you know, is it, a, is it a purpose? Is it a, is it, is it a vision? Why are we here, you know, in this, in, you know, in, 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 in this business? And to distinguish between what is it that we don't have control over what the politicians do, if that is, uh, you know, one of the, let's say, um, areas that impacting, but focusing on 
what is it that you know who you are the values uh you know in in in, in the business how do you embrace those values what does it mean is a key point we tend to only think okay let's say uh, you know, a, um, you know, a value of uh, teamwork. Okay, but then we leave it there. We must be clarity of what does it actually mean, and how do you then live that? How do you honor the values? And if the values are not clear, well, then it is actually an indication of, oh well, does that mean we have to spend time and invest time? You know, in the, you know, in that. Um, yeah. So 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 uh, um, it's. Uh, I hope that helps. Um, to, to in terms of clarity of your you know of of your question. Thanks so, so much for that, uh, Francois Katsano. If I can just add to that, I mean, I think one of the points that Francois I know historically has been pretty strong on is the debate about is the debate about you know how do we build the business that we've built up over years that not only serves the market or the community that you're operating in in your particular chosen target market, but ultimately build the business to a point where you become less internally focused around the business, but more externally focused so that from the fruits of the, of the, of the labor, let's call it that, of what you're getting from the business, you can impact communities within which you operate, be it at community level, be it city level, be it at, at, at state level or province level, and, and or be it at, at a national or global level. I always make the point that every single person in this virtual room somebody in this room has the ability to make global impact. The question is whether it's you or I, and how are we building our businesses? I think that's where Francho is coming from. How are we building our businesses to provide us with the time and freedom to be able to have that impact at local community level and or national level at city level or whatever the case might be. All right. Francho, there's a question in here from Marita Mulman. How do we bring the youth on board with, with improving South Africa? They live a bad story. Wow, that is a great uh, a, a question to you know to to to, to reflect, uh, reflect on. I mean, the the youth is that correct? That's what she's asking. You know, how do we actually yep. so they currently live? You know, uh, live live a bad story. I think at first, I mean, I'm not going to go practically necessarily. It might be one or one or two practical ideas, but it starts with your family, your own family. It's starting your level of, you know, of, 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 of influence. And first, do I live a bad story? You know, so, so, so we, you know, we, uh, uh, um, the internal conversation actually is manifested externally. So I think that always a starting point is what is the good story I love? And, and uh, because, you know, people do not catch, you know, what you are saying, they catch what you are doing. And, 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 and the coming from what you are doing comes from internal. I always, you know, think about, you know, when, when I have measles and, and, and I preach uh, pumps, you know, what do I, uh, you know, what do I convert others to? Not pumps, it's measles. So it starts with me, is, is, is that what is the story that I am projecting in every place where I'm going? And that I think is you know is a, is you know is is you know is a starting point. You always start with what is my sphere of influence, you know, my family, maybe you know at you know at at, at schools. What are the conversations that you have with your children and with their and with and and with their friends? We must reframe you know the story. And I think we as adults have got a big role to play there. That we actually so so where is it that we focusing on? I would say that would be a you know a starting you know a, 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 you know a starting point, and uh, you know they are and become involved in 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 community uh, um, uh, opportunities. You know what is your message that you want to bring to you to 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 the youth and start small where you can, and then we'll see how that grows bigger. Marita, so hopefully that's answered your okay. question. Yeah, Just cool. raise your hand if you want to engage with Francois further on this. Francho, if I may just add to that point, and I think that, you know, sometimes we, we look at all the all the input that's going into youth development, youth entrepreneurship, youth employment, uh, et cetera, in the country. And I'm probably going to be a little bit controversial when I make this point. I said, 
you know, I think that we the focus around you know bringing the youth on board is 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 a critical component. But the first component we've got to get right, and this is where government has got to play its role. Government has got to learn to stay in its lane and to provide and create an enabling environment within which capital and business can go and feel confident about investing in business and thus create employment. I personally believe there's too much effort being planned about creating employment as opposed to creating an environment that is enabling within which capitals, capital and business and business owners like you and I in this room can create growing business and thus, thus employ more people in the country. And I think the focus is at the front end of the equation rather than the back end. Government's got to stay in the land. Marita, over to you, your hands, your hands up. Um, thank you, Peter, for the opportunity. Yes, I come from the perspective that I'm a, an economics teacher, a high school economics teacher. So I constantly deal with this exact issue in my class. Um, you've raised the matter now with government staying in their lane and creating an environment. And it is exactly the experience of the youth that they are honoring what you are saying to say, but we do not feel empowered, number one. And number two, we do not feel that the environment is right for our entrepreneurs to, to start up the mm. businesses. Mm. So thank you for mentioning that. Yep, so I think, Francia, any comment on that? No, I think, I mean, Marita is, you know, is really sharing the, you know, what, what, what is, you know, the realities for people. And, and um, the first thing that we must acknowledge is that, you know, we do not have all the answers all the time, but what we do have, uh, you know, are the questions. And, 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 and we must become, uh, you know, like great uh, uh, in, in, in asking questions so that, you know, people have to connect with them so that, that they, you know, help them to see through a different lens. Um, and, 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 and when you're looking at, you know, different lens, we, we uh, uh, always, I also, you know, start with where you are, what is the one thing, practical thing maybe that you can do today and 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 in your sphere of uh, you know in in your sphere of influence so so marita yeah i mean to be a teacher today and um i think what a you know what a calling if you don't choose a mm. calling probably gonna be very very tough um and uh, yeah good luck uh, good luck you're playing a you know magnificent roles then you know so every one of us you know always you know uh, how do we influence our thoughts and what is the source that uh, you know of knowledge that we are using to uh, 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 um, that influence us, and and I, and I think I mean just maybe some small things don't ever underestimate you know that uh, you know that impact. That yeah, thanks have. to that, Francho. I just like to add to that as well, just in closing before I move on to the next question. But um, but I think I want to put out a calling to everybody on this room is you know, how do you and I collectively hold government to account to stay in the lane as I've spoken about earlier on? When we start looking at providing the basic infrastructure for within which business can thrive, make sure that we hold government to account to that, you know, so that they deliver both at national level, provincial level and, and local community level, the services that businesses need to be able to okay. thrive once we've got that right, then we will be able to get businesses to invest in business and create employment. And I think don't sit back. I think that's the other point I'm hearing from Francis saying as well. Don't sit back and wait for somebody else to make sure that you creating that influencing power within. In your area of influence, make sure you're holding your local councillor, your, your whatever, whoever's representing you at local government and national government level to account to make sure they deliver the basic infrastructure. Your and my job as, as entrepreneurs is first and foremost as an HFR to invest into a business that's growing, that can serve the community, serve products, and create employment. Before that, let's make sure that, they, that, that, that that's taking place. Francho, I just want to come back to another question. Um, I, just, I haven't seen any other present, presentation or questions. I see a lot of uh, comments in to say thanks for the presentation. But in the 14 years that you've worked uh, as part of the Action Coach community, um, I don't necessarily want to single you out, but I would probably say nobody that I've come across has invested as heavily in their growth and their and their and their wisdom. Let's call it that. 
than you. And I'm not uh, necessarily knocking anybody else in the room here, et cetera. What has stood out for you in the 14 years and all the, in all the experiences, all the knowledge, all the investment that you put into, into your growth as an entrepreneur and business owner? And what impact has that had on your business? Thank you, Peter. Um, sure. You know, so so <laughs> what has is, what is stood out? Uh, I think uh, perhaps the, the firstly is, is that um, in, 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 you know, our personal growth, you know, your business can never grow bigger than who you are. And, 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 and I think, you know, so that knowledge that we, you know, that, that, that I have to have and, and, and the responsibility to, to, to improve yourself. I think that is for me, uh, like, uh, um, you know, it, it becomes part of you, of my being, um, that mm -hmm. curiosity to always be curious because knowing that, you know, with this, this, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, you, you play the level, um, of, you know, the, uh, of the game is, is, is in terms of your level of uh, preparation and part of preparation is actually, you know, to improve yourself constantly. And the impact of that is is, 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 is tremendous in terms of the growth of myself, in terms of the growth of the business, but then also realizing the role that you have um, in playing a much bigger role. So you can actually, so I have realized as well, even after, you know, after, four, after 14 years, my game is much bigger than what I, mm -hmm. you know, initially, initially thought. Quick, quick last question before I wrap up for today. We've got six minutes to go before we wrap up. But a quick, a quick last question. You, you spoke quite heavily about business as a relational game, etc., and the focus is around building relationships and servant, serving, uh, servanthood. Let's call it that. How mm. have you found? How have you managed the balance between that focus on relationship and, and servanthood? Let's call it that relative to what you referred to earlier is the dashboard of the business. The, how do I measure, be it the financials, even though fruit is a, financials is the, is the fruit of the labor you've put in, how have you managed that balance between serving relationships and, and ultimately making sure that you're building a growing business? Because that's ultimately why one of the reasons why, why we're in business. Yeah, I think an interesting one. Um, so, so, so I'm asking myself then that you know is is you know is it a balance or is it integration? And uh, and 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 I see that is part of so so what so the you know the 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 profit that is the fruit is is the is uh, how well do I then focusing on the you know the relationships and that refers to. You know the time in terms of in terms of in terms of teaching in terms of training always you know so so ask my clients as well is that you know the time that they spend with their people because as you you know as the business grow let's say for instance you focus on go so if the focus is on the profit and 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 on the the you will have more sales will have more growth you will have more cash flow it grows it grows it grows did get more people problems because people have strengths, they have weaknesses, they have skills. And, 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 and if you don't focusing on that, your proud, your business will actually implode because that is the, you know, so, so that is what produce the, uh, um, you know, the, you know, the, uh, uh, so it, it is a, uh, what, what produced the profit and, 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 and the cash flow. So in terms of balancing, I say both are true, you know, but the, but the, the profit and, and cash, that's a, that's, a, that's a dashboard that tells me, okay, what I'm doing, does that actually produce it? And what must change? Because if that doesn't change, it tells me that I'm doing something wrong on the side of relationships, whether it's internal, external, and, um, and, and measuring, you know, knowing that that is actually producing it. And my motivation for it, you know, we can say we serve, but why am I doing it? That's a, you know, that's a deeper question. All right. Thank you so much for that, Francho. Francho, thank you very much for spending time with us today and taking us through that, that acronym. I see a number of people have commented about that. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you to take some of your key learnings from this presentation. One of the things I always say, it's Pondicicent taking time out to invest 
into attending webinars and seminars like this if you don't go back and go and apply one or two or three key learnings from that. And I trust that you've all been able to take one or two big ahas, BFOs, blinding flushes, the obvious, that you can go and apply to your business uh, when you when you finish your, finish up here today. So once again, Francois, thank you very much to you. Ladies and gentlemen, just as we wrap up, uh, Desiree has put into the chat box the opportunity for you to give feedback on today's session. Please can I encourage every one of you to click on that link and give you your, give your feedback to us. Because as we listen to you, as we serve you in these particular, particular series of Entrepreneur Series webinars, we can make sure that we're better able to serve you better and provide you content that, 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 will, that will serve you going forward, and as well as giving us feedback on how valuable you found today's session, which I'm pretty confident that you will find that as well. The second level, uh, as we wrap up today, Francho is one of our franchise partners, a number of our colleagues and team members have joined us in this particular presentation. If any of you feel that you wanna make contact with either Francho or some of his colleagues, then I'll just ask Desiree to put into the chat box, the link to our particular website. Feel free, please, to go to the website, click onto the website and complete the, the uh, request to meet with a coach or a business health check on, onto our web websites. And one of our team, a really confident uh, uh, team members uh, will, will, will be able to get hold of you as well. So in wrapping up, as we wrap up for today, remember the second Thursday every month, next month uh, in October will be the next series. Please make sure you put that into your diary. Make sure you hear as well for that particular series. And I want to encourage all of you as well to take the opportunity to share this link for the Entrepreneur Series with all your, with all your colleagues, your customers, your suppliers, your best friends, people that you believe might get value from learning from this, from this Entrepreneur Series. Please feel free and I encourage you, bring three people along with you. It is only because once we start expanding these networks and knowledge, knowledge base that we will start growing the entrepreneur uh, businesses in South Africa and we can start having an impact, which we've been called to have. So I really want to encourage you to invite all your friends that are running businesses, invite your colleagues, your suppliers, your customers, et cetera, to this as well. And in, in closing as well, if any of you want to get hold of one of our franchise partners, please go and click onto the website, www.actioncoach.co.za. Lovely having you on board today, Francois. Thanks for your time with us. Everybody have a great week. Hope you found some value here today as well.